you scared me. No, just kidding. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. You know it is your boy JJ right here on JJ's PC Builds. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to work towards 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Y'all know what I mean by 4,000 watch hours. Watch the videos from beginning to end would be much appreciated. We'll help out the channel and help the channel grow. And also, too, want to welcome all the new subscribers we got. Welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And all the subscribers that have been here for a while, we want to thank you again for all the awesome support you've shown us on the channel. Much appreciated. Kudos to you. Do appreciate you being here. And let's just get rocking on. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for Graphics Card Nightmares right here on JD's PC Builds. So, guess what? That means that means it's time we got to get ready to get all set and get right to it. So, stick around. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go up onto the action screen and we're going to take a look and see what the graphic card scene looks like this week. With all the new stuff and Computech going on right now and all the reviewers are over there at Computech, you know, I kind of got stuck home. They don't, they don't know I'm a creator. They don't, they don't know I'm a, a tech tuber. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck here, but I'm glad you all stuck with me. So we're going to go ahead and just get to it. So let's go ahead and jump screens right about now. Alrighty, we are on the action screen. You know, when I made the last video, I didn't realize the screen was that far out of whack. And I do apologize if y'all had to look over into the corner. But at least we got some numbers for you on that. But again, what will happen is, is since those tests come out looking like that, we, we're going to take and reduce some testing. Because I want you all to be able to see everything fully. So we'll work on that. We'll get back to you on that. And then we'll just roll from there. Now it is time to get on this graphics card nightmares. Y'all get your popcorn. Well actually get your soda. Let's start there. Get, get your snacks. Get yourself settled in. We're going to go through and see what kind of disaster that's going to be going on this week. You know, on Amazon. Yep, we're getting ready to type in Amazon. So, you know, we are looking for the Amazonian. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just fix her up right here. And, boy, I've been doing a lot of searching, a lot of soul searching this week. Let's type in graphics cards. For gaming PCs, let's try that. Let's kind of change up the lettering a little bit and see what's going on. Okay, the 51 Risk RX 588 gigabytes has not changed. Price keeps going backwards and forwards between 119 and 127 or something like that. So really hasn't changed. If you're looking for a 1030 ITX. You know, if you want to go low, low budget, you know, eighty nine ninety nine to get a ten thirty, but I'm sure you don't want a two gig, uh, a two gig uh, GT ten thirty because that would really stink on your part. So I wouldn't spend that much. You best to just go right up here to that one if you're going to get something with a little bit more horsepower. That's got at least eight gigabytes of VRAM on it, and the thirty sixty is down to two eighty nine say 290 bucks that's not bad that's not bad it is coming down on price but for low budget performance and you get 12 gigabytes see here's the trick when you look up here at top right watch my cursor see where it says 30 60 12 gigabytes see where it says 15 gigabits per second it's best to see that, say, 21 or, or greater. 
See, if you see one that says 21 gigabits per second or greater, then you're, be you know, you're better off. But it's not too bad. It's got 192 bits. You know, it's OC. It's an Ampere. So keep moving on. They got another 3060, 309. I'm not going to recommend that because then you might as well just come up here and get the MSI Gaming 3060 instead of getting this one down here. Unless you want three fans instead of two. You know, that's the only difference. You're paying, what, 20 more dollars for uh, one fan? Does that make sense? No, that don't make sense. 289 to get the Zotac right there, the Ice Storm. 289. 289. It's not a bad deal. That's if you're in a collection of them, you know, and you got a good deal. Oh, look at here, another 580. You know, for 110, cheaper yet, $9 cheaper. Okay, 3060 V2, still too high. 3050, you're best off to just go up and get a 3060 instead of a 3050. Because if you look at it, let's go back up here. For price to performance, you're best to go with the 3060. Okay, price to performance, you're best off to go with the 3060. Don't rob yourself if you're going to get the 3050. If that's the last resort, then that's a different story. But, you know, I mean, it, you know, if you're looking to stay within the NVIDIA, you know, you know, realm, that's not bad. 6600, this is RX 6600, 209, it's not too bad. Still staying stable at the same price. Um... I can't believe this. A 550 Ti, 6 gigabytes. Boy, they threw 2 gigabytes on that and gave it to you for $85. 550 Ti, they threw 2 gigabytes on it and gave it to you for 80 bucks. 85 bucks. Now, that's not too bad neither. But, you know, 6 gigabytes will get you okay. It'll get you okay on uh, Second Life, but as far as Raw performance, I would not use that on Second Life whatsoever. A 550 Ti, no, never. And I'll tell you why. It's because the, the the OpenGL, you know, takes a lot more power, you know, and it just, it draws a lot of energy. So especially to play Second Life like that, I wouldn't go that route. 242 on a 3050, 8 gigabyte. Still, your best, it's cheaper to go up there and get the 3060, even for a couple more dollars. You know, just throw a couple dollars in there and, you know, just go up. 5500 XT, 8 gigabytes, DDR6, 128-bit. It's okay for a starter card, but that's about where I'm going to leave it. And 1050 Ti for 269, disaster. Okay, 1050 Ti should not cost, especially at 4 gigabytes, 269 bucks. They got to be stupidly crazy. And I mean stupidly crazy, because who, who the hell is going to pay that for a 1050 Ti? You can, go, you can go get it somewhere else for cheaper. And 329, uh, no. I mean, a dual, Asus dual 3050 for 329, no. 7900 XT for 70, $779. Okay, well, you know. Truthfully, it was supposed to be, at, in the beginning, it was supposed to be $899. So, you know, kind of not. So, you know, that's just my thought about it. I mean, you know, they just, they're just getting stupid with these prices. I mean... They're trying to make everybody believe they're lowering their prices. I mean, look at this. 4070 Ti, $799. It's $100 away from the, the no, it's a couple hundred dollars away from the, the 4070. You know, the 4070 is $200 less. Performance-wise, I hate to tell you, there's only probably about 15, 20% difference. Not even that, not even 15% difference in my book, the way I look at it. And the way I measured my, my RTX 4070 was this, and hear me out. 
the way the way I was measuring it was is I was looking at the looking at the you know the graphs and stuff that everybody has going on and I was measuring mine to those graphs and I'm getting more performance than what's on their graphs compared to what I'm getting you know apples to oranges I see it a little bit clearer I guess I I get you know I got a great deal I guess so, but moving on, at least I'm not stuck in a nightmare. Okay, so we had a little glimpse of Amazonian. So we're now going to move on over to Newegg. We go to Newegg and see what disaster they got in there. You know, and believe it or not, Amazon did have a couple disasters in there today. So let's see, what can we sit there? Yep. We'll go right to graphics card. We'll hit the meat on the bone. Uh, let's see, 580, 85, 119 for a 55 XT, 730. I would not pay 85. I'd rather come over here and get a 580 compared to this right here. That's a nightmare right there. So G GT 730, don't get it. Do yourself a favor. Do not get a GT 730 I got one in my other system and it sucks it sucks badly my big mistake of spending a hundred dollars on that damn card and it still sucked and I kicked myself in the butt for getting one of those I mean look at this this right here a 6870 2 gigabyte DDR5 who in their right minds can for a PCIe 2.1 X16 Crossfire for 279? Tell me who is gonna pay that? Y'all get y'all better get some deep pockets to be getting that one, especially two gigabytes. Oh my God, that's a disaster. Uh, let's see, 47 Ti, another disaster, almost a thousand dollars. For his 4070 Ti, right here on New A. Uh, 4090 OC, 1700. They're not coming down on the prices anytime soon on these 4090s. I can see that. You know, 4070 OC, 669. I got mine on a great deal. I got me the Asus Dual OC, the RTX 4070. Five ninety nine, five ninety nine. Got me a good deal on it for five ninety nine. So sixty six M. Now I don't think y'all want to be playing on uh, uh, laptop graphics. Any anytime, anytime I see those M's, that's just telling me laptop graphics. That's what the M's telling me. So no, I wouldn't touch that with the ten foot pole. Uh, let's see, anything, 125 for a 5500 XT, if I remember, if you go up, didn't they have one, 119, okay, they had one for 119, anything else going, 125, so far we got 119, uh, anything else, anything else. Well, they got something here. They got a 6800 XT for 519. A 6800 XT. Okay, well. I still wouldn't pay 519 for that. Sorry. Even though I paid 599 for what I got in their neck and neck, you know, between the two. I have a feeling the newer card is going to outlast this older card. Silicon, silicon wears out even if it sits still. Do remember that. The silicon will start to wear even if you're not using it because sitting in a, in a temperature, let's say going from 100 degrees down to 80 degrees, it's still consuming it. It is still using and because if your processor goes up and down in heat and you go from the outside to the inside to the outside to the inside, 
going from 70 degrees to 100 degrees, 70 degrees to 100 degrees, you do that enough times, then what happens is, is the silicon will start to break down regardless if you got it plugged in or not. And I wanted to make that perfectly clear. You know, people don't believe me on it, but I proved it. I had one, I had one GPU one time, long time ago. Okay, I said, we're going to watch this break down in two years. Two years, the silicon's going to break down. So, I did the hot and cold thing for two years solid. And then as soon as I took it out, I made sure it wasn't, it wasn't moist or anything else. It was dry underneath. You know, everything was fine. I plugged it in. Lasted a whole two weeks. And poof, magic smoke. So don't don't believe everything don't believe on everything you hear. The old silicon will last, yes. But for how long, you don't know. Cuz if it's been built like maybe 10 years ago, you don't know how long that silicon's going to last. Now, if it's within a margin of probably 4 or 5 years or or less, you might be able to be okay with that but when it, anything that's like longer than five to ten to fifteen years well you better think twice about it that's just my opinion if you think it'll last then go for it but if you don't think it's gonna last then you know I don't know what to tell you right here this is a good deal 6600 XT 8 gigabytes 199.99 so that's 200 solid. That's $9 cheaper than the 6600. Look at that. It, actually, that's $9 cheaper than the 6600. So the 6600 XT right there, that's a good deal. Okay, I will give you I will give them that. That is a good deal. Okay. Now, let's just roll through this and see what else we can get our fingers in. 954 no Look at this, 6650XT, still a good price, $260. It's still $10 cheaper than the RX 7600, just to keep that in mind. You know, and let's see, is there anything else that's worth salvaging from Newegg? No, there's not. All right, moving on to e-waste, I mean eBay. We're going to eBay. You know, I know you guys are probably getting mad at me for me calling it e-waste, but, you know, what do you think they sell on here? You think they sell brand new dresses or skirts or whatever? Come on. You know better than that. You know it's all, you know, 9 out of 10 chances it's reclaimed e-waste. Or somebody used it for like 200 years and then sold it to you for the same price they bought it for. You know, come on. Let's think about this. Let's see. ATI, no, I don't think I want one of those. 1066 gigabytes, 75. No. I think we need to go and fix something in here. We need to fix something in here. We need to find it. Buy it now. There we go. Okay. Now we're moving on down the road. I know y'all ain't going to want that because I ain't going to talk about it. They got a $600 A4000. I am going to talk about it. Disasters. 1660 Super, 6 gigabytes, $114 used. Okay, now what we're going to do is this. We're going to look inside this site. See how, look at that. I want y'all to tell, want y'all to look at that really carefully around that blade. That blade right here, that blade right here, that's water damaged. That is water damaged. And they're selling it for that price? Water damaged. I don't think I would be w willing to buy that. And that's the reason why I said e-waste. For $114 to have that right there, those scratches and everything else, that's been used and abused. Come on. Why do they sell crap like this on eBay? Just bugs the hell out of me. $109. Let's see. New listing. Used. 
1660 Super. Let's dig into it a little bit, shall we? Let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see. Well. Oh, blades look pretty good. Oh, look at the surprise it just showed me. Oh, my God. See the front of it? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And you'd be crazy if you bought it. You know what that is, right? That looks like it looks like some kind of damage. And it does look with the blackness and everything else. It could be dust bunny damage. You don't know if these ports are going to work or not. I wouldn't even touch it. Sorry. Time to move on away from the e-waste over that side. Let's see what. Let's see, one fifty nine ninety nine. Ah no. It's still one sixty nine sixty six hundred right there. If you dare to buy it, <laughs> like Asu says, if you dare to play it. <laughs> when you come to eBay, you dare to buy it. <laughs> Same shit. Ah. You dare to buy it. That's the way you gotta look at it. Asus Tough 3060 12 gigabytes 265 or best offer. You better look at like three hundred dollars their offer, especially if you gotta pay shipping. It's not worth it. If you gotta pay almost one third of the card for the price of the card, if you gotta pay almost a third of the price of the card for shipping, then you're getting robbed and I'll tell you why if they work on eBay now do understand that if they sell on eBay you know they're selling more than one and they're selling a bunch of stuff and everything else and you know the thing is is you can go anywhere to any any delivery site and get a flat box rate Especially if you ship different boxes out, you get a flat, flat box rate. And guess what? You know, you pay one-third of the shipping. You, I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious in common sense. If you were to take, and here comes the calculator. Here comes Mr. Calculator. Right? So, if you were to take... What was it? Uh, $33.35, right? And let's say you sold 200 pieces, right? That's $6,670. Okay. Now, divide that by three. You think they're going to be paying that much in shipping? No, they're not going to be paying. Why don't we try to divide that by three again? You think they're going to be paying that in shipping? Probably. Right here. So basically, that's about a third of a third. So that's about probably what they're going to be paying. So, $741, $742 in shipping. I know some places that you can ship for cheap and you know it's not hard to ship from you know point A to point B pretty much I think you know I don't even want to get into the shipping part of this because it's a disaster 2070 69 bucks but for parts only uh, why would you buy something for that price when you can get something Close to new for about 20 more dollars. Doesn't make sense to me. Why would you buy for e-waste? E-garbage. And that's why I keep telling you guys it's e-garbage. 
you know. I don't know how they get away with all this. I mean, they should, you know, eBay should have a strict standard. You know, if it if you if it's broken, you can't sell it. If you want to if they want to sell something broken, then go to a different site. That's me. That's the way I would put it down. You know, if it's broken, you ain't selling it here. And if you're going to ship it, you're going to have to ship it to eBay. Let them inspect it. And if it doesn't meet inspection, then you pay the return shipping. And, that, and if it doesn't meet inspection, read my lips, you will pay for return shipping. And that's the way I would have put it. And if they say, well, well, just leave it there. Well, guess what? eBay probably go get it fixed and turn around and sell it for three times what it's worth. That's smart business. You know, I mean, it depends on how you, you know. I don't sell on eBay because it's not my bag. You know, if I'm going to sell something, I'm going to sell something when I get monetized. And then I'm going to sell something on the channel. It's called have a merch store. That way y'all can buy some shirts and stuff like that. You know, come up with some cool logos and stuff like that, you know. Some cool stuff. You know, not not, you know. A lot of a lot of people got cool stuff, but I just want to make mine unique. So that way, you know, y'all know it's from the channel. Not everybody else's channel, my channel. The one that everybody resides on? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, well, the thing is, is this. E-waste is just worse yet than it was a week ago. I'm just going to tell you that, and it's a dumpster fire, okay? Today is a dumpster fire on e-waste. Okay, so let's move on from the dumpster fire, and let's go to Micro Center. Let's go to Micro Center. Micro Center. Yeah, I know. I always forget the login. Let's see. Graphics cards. Graphics cards. What do they got available to ship? 4070 Ti for 839. They can ship it to your door, it looks like. Comes with, comes with Diablo, right here, Diablo 4. Or is that 6? Well, it's one of the two. Okay, now let's get into the graphics card juiciness here on Micro Center. Yeah. 4090, 1799, 4090, 1699, 2000 bucks. Okay. $1,700, $4090, $6950, XT, $649, save $160. $160 savings, but guess what you don't get? Was it? FSR3? Uh, you get FSR2, you don't get DLS3, you got minimal RT cores, I ain't going to knock it, it's a good it's a good GPU, so I'm just saying that, I'm just playing. Look at this, $600, exact same one I have right here, right here, the 4070. And you know, a lot of people are starting to figure out about the 4070 is that they're starting to learn it's not a dumpster fire. They are starting to learn it's not a dumpster fire, people. And it's not. It's not a dumpster fire. Okay, for the price to performance, yeah, it's a little bit overpricey, okay? It's a little bit overpricey. But, for all that it has, I don't see it like that. And I have not yet used it for DLSS. I have I've used it just baseline. That means I haven't used the ten, you know, the RT cores or nothing. Nothing. I just used it baseline. 
So that means I'm running it raw power as it is. Just running it directly off its cores. 1080p has no other connection, no RT connection, no DLSS3 connection, no nada. And I'm getting raw horsepower. And that's the way I judge the graphics card is by raw horsepower. And if it can't keep up on that raw horsepower, it goes in the, it goes in the, the what do you call it, the fuck it bucket. You know, where you just throw it, in, throw it in, in that bucket and it just sits there for about six years. So, yeah, that's about how that rolls. Okay, let's see what else. What else? What else? 6650. Look at this right here. 6650 XT. 219. Micro Center's got it, 219. If you're looking for a graphics card within a good, decent amount of money, there it is. You figure the 70, was it, the 7600, okay, let me move this over here and put this right here. You figure the 76, RX 7600, right, is $270. So you might as well minus that from the 6650 XT for $219.99. So you save $50. $50. In a card that will get you up close to that card. I don't get it. If I had to choose, you know, and I had a tight pocket, you know, don't not much to spend. I would go as far as the 6650. Okay. Just a point proven. Just point proven. That's all it is. And let's see what else. What else? 6750 XT. Well, it's not the 6950 XT. But, you know, $200 less. I don't know. I don't think I'm feeling that right now. Uh, 4060 Ti, $400. I ain't no way I'm touching that card for 400 bucks. NVIDIA, I don't mind the, the RTX 4070, okay? But the 4060 Ti is becoming, it looks like a dumpster brawl. Not fire yet, a dumpster brawl. It's where everybody's throwing it into the dumpster and they, they're not looking back. And then you're going to have that last guy that's going to come in there and put the gasoline on him and hit that match, and then it's going to be a dumpster fire. So unless you want that to happen, you want people to put them all, put them into the dumpsters and then put gas on it and then throw a match in there, I suggest you bring it down at least 150 bucks. At least then... Somebody's really going to appreciate you and, your, you know, your GPUs and all the good stuff that you guys had cooking. So, there, now I got it off my chest. Now I'm happy. So, moving on down the road. Moving on down the road. Moving on down the road. Okay, so we moved down the road. The one thing... Okay, one thing before we move on, there's one thing I wanted to check. Uh, water cooling. I know it's kind of falling off the, the barrel here, but I want to do something a little bit, you know, you know, uh, not an AIO. Uh, let's see. See, not an AIO. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go in there. PC parts. Let's see. Water cooling. Uh, water cooling kits. Let's see what they got. See if see if it's all AIOs. Oh no, it's all AIOs. Oh, that's. That's bad. That's bad. Especially when you're looking for PC parts. 
I'm a little anxious today, so I do apologize, everybody. Top deals. Let's see. No, not top deals. Uh, no. Products. PC parts. Let's see. PC parts. Um... Let's try water cooling accessories. Maybe they'll throw something in there. Are you kidding? A hundred dollars for a pump? Are they, are you serious right now? Okay, well, I just having fun with it. Let me go ahead and close that and bring you all back to the main screen. Okay, now that I had a little bit of an adventure today, I am thinking I am thinking about doing a little bit of water cooling. I might think I might do an AIO, but it was brought to my attention that if I want it to last for longer, best to do it just a full water cooling system. So, I'm thinking about doing a full water cooling system change out the, the PC case that I have here for this one you know this one right here change out the PC case um, you know get a bigger case put a water cooling system in it for the CPU and maybe maybe for the GPU too And add a little bit of funsies to it so um, what else I got plenty of ideas you know we I took in the system about to you know I took in the system and I filled it into the case to pretty much to the max so you know I, I put a full ATX motherboard into an ATX case that fits really gem tight so um, I'm trying to hook up the little camera right here so that way you know I can give you guys a glimpse um, there now we're stuck on the PC camera let's see if it actually works and do bear with me. We're going to try something. Nope. It don't work. It don't work. You activate. Activate. Yes, it worked. Okay. Now. There. It's going to look a little blurry. I think I know why. Hmm. Damn it. having good luck today uh, okay y'all hold your eyes we're gonna clean the bulb there there that's a little bit better don't you think good pull that up right there Yeah, that's decent. Okay, well, see, now the thing is, is this. It, I wanted to give you all a quick light show in the build. So you can see what's going on. Uh, Y'all can leave a comment below to see if uh, I actually did something correct on this. You know, and what you think about it, just let me know. But this is the build. And don't worry, I will clean the glass. I have not forgot about cleaning the glass. I cleaned the inside. I just didn't clean the outside yet. So don't judge me on it. <laughs> but anyway, we'll flip ourselves right back to the main screen. 
Now y'all got a good glimpse of what I was doing over here. And it's, you know, at night time, so you can catch it at the night time. See how it looks. Hopefully it looks good. And this does too. Get you, make sure you get your drinks. And yes, I always say that because it helps. It hits the spot. But anyway, okay. My conclusion on graphics card tonight. I've seen a couple good ones. The rest of them just were complete garbage. The prices were complete garbage. Okay. Not the item, the prices. They were complete garbage. Only thing that I saw that really had a little bit of teeth to it was the 6650 XT and maybe the 6950 XT. Okay. But as far as anything else having teeth, Y'all know I'm going to say the RTX 4070's got teeth. It does me it does me justice with this B550 motherboard. It definitely holds up to what it, it says it does. Because I've already hit, I've over, you know, I already hit clock speeds up to 3 gigahertz on the, on the 4070. I've already hit clock speeds up to, you know, 3 gigahertz. I know that doesn't sound like much, but to me... That's a big accomplishment. I'm going from being at 2300 megahertz and I'm jumping up 700 whole megahertz to, you know, three gigahertz. So it's a big, it's a big accomplishment to me. Got a decent 5700 XT or I was about to say XT 5700 X, the Ryzen 5700, uh, X definitely rocks after I've did that under volting no problems it doesn't crash it's stable it gives me every all the horsepower I need yeah, I'm getting all the horsepower I need so I'm not worried about it it's doing its job you know it'd be different if it was a pile of crap and I would tell you all, it's a big pile of doogie dog, but it's not, so I'm happy with it. But as far as your graphics cards, like I said, 6700 XT, um, uh, the RTX 70, 4070, I know you guys say, well, don't get it, because... Well, it did drop down in some cases 50 bucks, but I'm sure it'll drop down about 100, 120 bucks, somewhere in there. Just wait until after July, and graphics card prices will probably drop after July for the simple fact that I don't see anything right now coming out after that in August. So there might be, you never know. I'll keep my ear to the ground, and I'll let you all know. If something's coming out in August, but I've only heard about July, and that's about as far as I heard right now. Now, if y'all hear something, make sure you leave a comment below down there in the description, in the comment section below, and let me know if you hear anything, you know, that, you know, it's coming up in August. Let me know. I'm going to keep my ear to the ground, see if there's anything coming up in August. If there's nothing coming up in August and September, then basically, you know, graphics cards, they'll start to go stale and they'll start dropping. And that's what we're hoping for, that they start going stale. You know, it's called stagnation, starts going stale, they start dropping in price. So that way they can balance out everything going on. So, you know, y'all hold to your guns. We'll see what happens and see if graphics card prices drop. So... But anyway, I'm not going to hold you all up because it seems that, you know, last video I made it an hour. The video before that was two hours. We're going to make this one right down to about 45, 50 minutes. We're going to re decrease it a little bit. So, you know, but anyway, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. And again, thank you for all the new subscribers that did subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the family. 
and the subscribers that have been here, the pay, the the veterans. I'm gonna call you guys the veterans of the channel. Appreciate you guys helping me with all of the support and everything else. It's much appreciated, always. So until the next time and the next video. It is JJ on JJ's PC Builds. We will see you on the next video.